good morning. Um, I want to go to Boone County, Missouri this morning. Uh, there's a few bridges I want to go find. One has never been photographed for the website bridgehunter.com. Uh, it's not that old, but it's an older design. Uh, it is a plate girder pony truss, uh, which means that the side plates are plate girder steel. Um, anyway, I've got my directions, uh, so shall we? Oh, you know, he's just cruising along here. Doing a few miles an hour over the posted speed limit. It, the posted speed limit is 70. Um, I was doing close to 80. <laughs> but uh, it got a little more overcast out here. Uh, they got way more precipitation than we got where I live. And the left lane is wet. Um, there have been a few cars off of the road slid into the cable barrier. So, I've opted to slow down a little bit and stay in the dry lane. Um, I've only got about 40 minutes to go before I get to the first bridge. So, we'll see when we get there. Okie dokie. Almost to the first bridge. Um, this is a very urban bridge hunt. Uh, wasn't quite planning that, but that's okay. turned into a bike path or a walking path of sorts so we'll get to interact with people while we're down here <laughs> people okie dokie um it is a bike path and walking path um on around the corner there so of course no vehicles allowed there uh this is the hominy branch creek bridge or hominy branch bridge um, that's the creek. Believe it or not, this bridge is pretty old. It was uh, built in 1935 and rehabilitated in 1987. I've already taken my pictures for bridgehunter.com. That's why you see my footprints down the center of it. It, uh, the span is 60 feet long and the total length is 62 feet uh, is what, what the website says um, and it has of course the minimum load rating of 3 tons and this is something that always shocks me there's a bullet hole in that sign actually there's two bullet holes in that sign <sighs> I just don't understand why people shoot signs what did that sign ever do to you? Uh, um, so, I mean, it is in great shape. So, okay. Here's why they call it a pony plate girder. You can see that the deck does not go all the way to the girders. And that under here that's how it's suspended right there those cross beams so these plates the way they are arranged on the piers are what gives this the name and design of pony plate and then of course the plate girder runs longitudinally and then you have the cross beams that one and that one number three and number four um, I'm gonna guess there's about three or four longitudinal beams under the deck supporting the deck uh, and then of course you have the concrete deck on top of that um, but uh, that's what gives this design uh, its name of pony plate girder or pony girder plate uh, because the trusses run from pier to pier 
and they have cross beams under them and then you have the longitudinal beams that the bridge is on uh, just like a regular pony truss bridge it's just it's a plate girder all right <clears throat> enough of that there's two more i want to go see this is the green valley road bridge It was built in 1906 and relocated here in Columbia in 1938. Down there is an old dam. There is a way to walk under this one. <laughs> Provided I don't slip and fall. I don't want to do that. I don't bounce well at 51. A homeless dude living under it okay well we'll leave him alone <sighs> okay well anyway on to the next one all right it was claiming that <laughs> there was no outlet up here but there's a one-lane bridge with a yield to oncoming traffic and no place to park really on this side so, we'll head down to the other side. Is that the bridge I want right there? I don't know if any of that last part took or not. Uh, this is the old Walnut Street Bridge, or old East Walnut Street Bridge. I'm not sure how long it's been closed, but it's been a good while. They don't even want people walking across it. Um, and I'm not going to walk across it. <sighs> I'm not sure when it was built. That's not on the website. Looks like uh, from the uh, design, uh, probably the th 30s. Maybe the 20s. But uh, you can see the concrete deflection wall and the brick pier. And you can see the stone pier over there with the brick piers as well. Um... So I would say late 20s, based upon the construction. One thing I don't like about urban bridge hunting is being close to people. That's kind of the reason why I do this, you know, because it gets me away from people. But uh, not sure what that utility was. Uh, looks like coax with the strength member, so... Maybe it was cable TV. <sighs> yeah, homeless guy living under that bridge. Okay. That's the other thing, man. Um, homeless folks. Um, I know one of these days I'm going to find one. And he ain't going to be alive. I don't want that. I just... Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, do subscribe. I appreciate it very much. I will see you later.